Hey everyone, this is Ben with RegisteredNurseRN.com and in this anatomy lesson, I'm going to demonstrate abduction and adduction, which are angular body movements that have a structure either moving toward or away from a midline reference point. Now, unlike flexion and extension body movements, which mostly take place within the sagittal plane or parallel to the sagittal plane, abduction and adduction movements are mostly going to take place within the frontal or coronal plane. However, the thumb is one exception, and I'll demonstrate abduction and adduction of thumb later in this video. So what is abduction? Abduction is the movement of a structure away from a midline reference point. And let the name help you out. What does abduct mean? When you hear on the news that a man was abducted, you know it means that someone took them away. And that's exactly what's going on with this movement. The structure is being moved away from the midline reference point. Now, what is adduction? Adduction occurs as the structure is added back toward the midline reference point. So let's take a look at some examples of abduction and adduction on the body. During arm abduction, the arms move away from the body's midline. During arm adduction, you add them right back toward the midline. Finger abduction occurs when the fingers move away from the midline of the hand, whereas finger adduction occurs when you add them back toward the hand's midline. When the middle finger, which serves as the midline point of the hand, deviates away from the body in the anatomical position, it's called lateral abduction. And when it deviates toward the body, it's considered medial abduction. And as I mentioned earlier, the thumb is gonna operate a little bit differently because it has a different orientation than the other fingers. Abduction of the thumb has it moving within the sagittal plane in an anterior motion, and adduction of the thumb has it added back to the hand. When determining abduction and adduction of the wrist, I find that it helps to stand in the anatomical position. Abduction of the wrist has it moving away from the body's midline in the same direction as arm abduction. Adduction of the wrist has it going in the opposite direction, toward the body's midline. These movements are also referred to as radial deviation and ulnar deviation. Remember, the radius is on the thumb side, which is where you check the radial pulse. So radial deviation is the movement toward the radial side, and ulnar deviation is toward the other side. During thigh abduction, the lower limb moves away from the body's midline, and during adduction of the thigh, you add the lower limb right back toward the body's midline. When the toes move away from the midline of the foot and spread apart, abduction occurs, and adduction of the toes adds them right back together. And just like with the hand, the foot is also gonna have its own midline reference point, which is the second toe. And whenever that second toe deviates away from the body's overall midline, then that's called lateral abduction. And whenever the second toe moves toward the body's midline, then that's called medial abduction. Okay, that wraps up this video over abduction and adduction. And you can take a free quiz to test your knowledge on this material by clicking the link in the description below. In addition, we have a whole playlist of anatomy videos that you might wanna check out here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe.